I want to share with you one of my essential tools for making media ministry work super, super easy. Hey guys, this is AJ the CEO. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. You know, even though I'm a preacher's kid, I've been in church my whole life. That doesn't necessarily mean now that I'm 40 do I want to be in church all the time. Now, when I say that, I'm talking about from a media ministry standpoint. Um, with all the gear that's at the church when it comes to the cameras, the video editing system, the recorders, all that stuff, you know, it gets to the time where sometimes you're going to be in the church a lot, but sometimes you don't have the advantage. Um, at this church, my dad is not the pastor, so I don't have keys to come down to the church anytime I want to. So how do I get around that? What I use is remote desktop software. Now, I used to use um, one product, which I will not really mention, TeamViewer. Um, I'm not gonna talk about them anymore because uh, I just don't like what they've done with their software. So what I want to do is share with you what I use for my own personal computers, my family's computers, as well as my clients and how to maintain that. And that is Chrome's remote desktop. So it's real simple for this to work. I believe it actually there is a app for the iPad as well, uh, which I might pull my iPad and see if it's there, but I have it on my phone. And let me just jump over the computer to just show you all of the goodness with this stuff here. So on this, this is the Chrome desktop. My wallet's in the way. And it's really simple. All you have to do is get it um, if you're using a Chrome browser, just go ahead and go to the Chrome web store and just look up Chrome remote desktop. And if you've used any type of remoting software, it works the exact same way. Now, what you have to do with this is to run it, you need to put your profile on that computer. So at my church's computers, I have the account for the media ministry, but I have my account on an admin account on the computer so that I install the plugin that's needed for this so that no one can get access to it, but I can still get access to the computer. This is the same way I have, how I have it set up at my mom's um, computer all the way where she lives, which is about two hours away, any other family, any other clients. This is how I have it set up. So at any time, as long as the computer is logged in and on the internet, I can connect to it. So let me cut back over here to the computer again. So here is really simple with Chrome. You just do add to Chrome, which I already have it on here. And that's it. Now they give you the address that you're going to be using to access this. Um, I'm in the Google store and this is the add on that you can have installed on your tablet or your phone, which I'm sure that there is an iPad version of this. If it is, I will add a link to it in the description as well. Oh, by the way, this is free. It doesn't cost anything. And as you see, I already have this installed. And so we're just gonna go to this link here. Boom. And this is the setup and it is linked to your Google account. So I have the three church computers. I have my two computers that are on right now. This is the one I'm on right now. This is my streaming computer that's recording what I'm doing right now. And this is my portable mini live streaming PC that I talk about a lot. That's actually off, but let me flip the power switch up. Oh, I don't have it plugged in, so I can't turn it on. Uh, I need a cable. Where's the cable? I need a cable. Oh, anyway, I get back to that. So, and then these are some of my other clients, um, but they like to keep their computers off during the week. So if I really need to get some work done with this, I actually ask them to turn them on throughout the week. One of the administrative assistants over there, they just turn the computers on, then I can log in. Here's my mom's computer, does the same way. If I have any issues, she has any troubleshooting that needs to be done, I just ask her to turn the computer on. Once it gets the internet connection, I can connect to it. 
So let's go ahead and remote into one of the computers that at the church. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification. That way you don't miss out on other great videos like this one. And again, I don't turn our computers off so they stay on unless there's a storm or something like that, but they're always set to auto restart. So as you can see, I am on the desktop of my church's computer, the live streaming PC. I can log in the exact same way, and this is how it shows up on your phone or your tablet. So it will give you the same resolution on your tablet or phone. You can use your finger to move around with the mouse, tap, and it's a little complicated, um, a little bit more difficult on your phone, but it is doable. So I can interact, do anything here on the desktop like I normally would. So. Um, it's been times where if we had an issue with a live stream and I'm out of state and I'm helping another media ministry, I can remote in to our church's stuff, and get them all set up if need be. I can launch the, the OBS. I can connect to whatever stuff we got and fix it from here. Um, the same way if we have technical issues or anything like that, I can do the same thing. So I can kick out and I can log into multiple accounts at the same time especially on the desktop um, just because it depends on your internet speed but I mean it's really beneficial so like I'm gonna see how this will work I'm gonna loop into my live streaming computer now you're hearing an echo <laughs> all right so as you see a loop of a loop of a loop but that's what's going on on this computer right here. So if I bring that up here, let me bring up my controller and I can switch over so y'all can see, that is the exact system that I just remoted into. So really cool. You can see my voice and everything's being captured here. So that's what I remoted into. And again, this is a completely free program and um, other options that I've seen that offer the same thing. They cost monthly and I kind of got away from them um, because it was just kind of crazy with the stuff they were charging for it. So anyway, that is Google Chrome Remote Desktop and it is one of my favorite essential tools that I'm actually using to help manage um, my media ministry. And again, one other thing is when I need to do edits or do an update, and actually, let me let me cut back over here. I thought I was gonna be done, but let me cut back over here, and I'll show you actually some of the other stuff I do. So, number three is our main presentation PC, which looks like I left logged in. So, what I can do, let me log out of here. And what I normally do, especially working towards, which I'm actually going to be doing again, actually, um, maybe Friday or Saturday, is what I normally come in here and when I make our video announcements, there's Worship Extreme, for those I told you, we're, we're making the move to it. But I normally come in here and I will load up ProPresenter, which we're currently using. give it a second this actually I think is probably the fastest computer that we have this is a Ryzen 3 similar a little bit lower in spec to the ultimate presentation PC um, the processor is slower as well as the GPU significantly slower than the 1070 that's in the ultimate presentation PC which we are only 10 days away from giving away really excited about that make sure you follow um, leave a comment on that video but what I normally do is from here I remote in here and I set up everything for service coming around now when we move to worship extreme I don't need to do this because I can just log into the software and it pulls it over but I can come in here actually I need to remove a lot of this stuff because this was stuff from last Sunday so, I mean, I can easily, just as if I'm physically there, make the updates for everything. I normally come in here, put the new song, which actually, I think they actually sent this to me. So let me open up our email here. Find what our, the hymn was. All right, so this is the hymn for Sunday. 
Oh, how I love Jesus. So I can come in here. And get everything set up. And actually, this is what I did last Sunday. So we already got that. And then what I like to do is have this set up for everyone, especially if I'm going to be up there. I like to set up everything ahead of time. So when I get there, it's really nothing to do except for put the scripture and everything. So um, I log in here. I'll add our video announcements here. So I upload that, drag it in here. And there's really nothing left over compared to instead of me trying to do all of this Sunday morning, I do this on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, whatever day earlier. Um, especially I'm going to do this again since I'm not going to be here this Sunday. So well, that is about it. And let me go ahead and get this all logged out here. So that was the Chrome Remote Desktop. Awesome free little tool that I use on my tablet phone and I will check if it's on the iPad, which I'm sure it is, that I can have installed here um, on any of my computers that I work on, especially clients, if they have like a service agreement or something like that so I can remote into their system. So I hope you like this type of content. I have a link in the description for where you can get all that stuff because I mean I mentioned it here but again it's free just let you know um, if you like this type of content I appreciate a like consider subscribing and hit that bell that way you get notified when we come out with other great videos to help modernize your media ministry and if you like what we're doing and you want to help consider supporting us on patreon at the link below this is AJ we will see you on the next video later